And the big, big, big news of the day is that the gift basket that's going to be given away today at one at at uh, at the end of the day is uh, has been donated by Six Baskets, which is Toronto's locally curated gift basket provider. And you can reach them at sixbaskets.com. It's absolutely the best selection of Toronto-based items. And we're going to be giving away a basket um, later today. And in this basket, there are handmade cake balls by Chocolate Inspirations. Thank you for providing those. Scottish shortbread cookies by Selena's Bakery. Mexican hot chocolate, mazapan candy, and chupa cabra hot sauce from Tienda Mobile. Imported chocolate and plum jam from Family Bakery Cafe. And lastly, two large mugs from IQ Living. And all the products were sourced right here in the wonderful community of the Danforth area. So stop by before five so that you can be part of this great draw. And it's happening at 212 Oak Park Avenue. And now for the podcast. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Paul here, realestatepodcastshow.com. Coming from my... Uh, Today I'm doing my podcast live from my grand opening event, which is in the Danforth, East York area. I'm at 212 Oak Park Avenue, which is the literally like right in the center of this area in the Danforth Woodbine area. And you would definitely be wise to make sure that you check out this property today. I'm here from 10 to 5. Uh, We've had a number of people through yesterday. It was a full house most of the day. Uh, And as people starting to wake up Sunday a little late, uh, same things are starting. So I'm just on a little bit of a quick break here. But I wanted to send out this message because it's come to my attention that some of you don't know this. But there are some areas of Toronto that have had as much as an 800% increase in their sold prices since the late 90s. Now, if you're just looking at general stats from around the city, you might be missing out on what some call, especially my clients have called after they've seen those checks, the closest thing to a lottery that some of you will ever have access to, which is basically your real estate properties. Some of your properties have gone up in value so much that it's literally like a lottery win for many of you. So some of the areas that that some of those areas that are included in those very, very high returns include the beach area, include the Danforth area, and there's a number of other properties, uh, um, communities that are on that list. And I definitely want to make sure that you get access to all of those. And of course, the best way to find out is to connect with me And we can start off by doing an analysis of your property and seeing if it is in one of those zones. And if it is, it does change the way you should be looking at who your marketing specialist, who's going to be selling your property. You do not want someone who's not aware of this information marketing your property. And the reason I say this is because if they don't know that, there's probably a hundred other things that they don't know about what it's like to live in your specific postal code area. For example, if you're living in the beach area and you're not able to discuss the benefits of, you know, having the boardwalk just a few blocks away, the history of the boardwalk being built in the 30s, Queen Street and its development, the racetrack area, et cetera, et cetera. I've become over the last 23 years, 23 years this year, 
I've chosen to become a community storyteller first. Before a realtor, before a salesperson, I've chosen to focus on being a community storyteller. And, and by that, I also mean historian and someone who really, really gets into the history of the communities that I handle, which is why I've always treated the properties and the areas that I work as, as very niche type segments. Obviously, I don't or can't service 250,000 postal codes across Ontario. Absolutely not. But I do know the ins and outs of many of the postal codes within Toronto, within GTA, and outside of those areas. If I don't know the area well, because I have sold properties in Brantford, I have sold properties in Barrie. So I know what's going on out there, but mostly when I have transactions happen out there these days, I have a professional in those areas that I work with. And that's the kind of thing where you don't want to be looking around and finding the worst of the worst or someone who has, again, just begun and doesn't know all the ins and outs of the area and of the properties that you're dealing with. You need to make sure that your decision is based on what's best for you. It doesn't even matter if the person you've known for 20 years might be a realtor. If they don't know enough about those areas and about those properties. And of course, when it comes time to sell your property, you want to make sure the person you hire can tell the story of your property better than anyone else, including you. You have to be willing to hire someone who's got that ability. That's what I've been perfecting for the last 20 plus years. Um, on a, on, a, on a more dedicated level over the last five years since 2018 when I started this podcast. So once again, you can easily find out what your property is worth simply by getting signed up with me. And you can do that one of two ways. The uh, easiest way is go right over to realestatepodcastshow.com and you'll see the links there to find out what your property value is. They're right on the front page. Or you can go through the other way of doing it, which is through myneighborhoodnews.com, which is the sort of the, the news segment of my podcast stage. And that's where I will make sure that you get the specific details for your postal code area in detail in real time. So those are the two ways to reach me. Uh, and of course, you can always email me. That's been always the easiest one, which is paul.indrigo, I-N-D-R-I-G-O at c21.ca. Thanks for tuning in. And once again, I'm here at 212 Oak Park Avenue, sen Sunday, January 22nd from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you're in the area, if you'd like to come by, I'm right. Literally, this property is literally 10 or 15 steps away from the best pizza place in the community, Oak Park Deli. And I've got some fresh pizzas here and I've had uh, a whole bunch of them yesterday and I've got a few more today and I hope that I can share uh, some of them with you and again, break some bread. And in this case, the bread happens to be pizza. And uh, so far, everyone who's had it has actually loved it. Uh, one client even said that it reminds them of authentic New York style pizza. So if that's not a good enough uh, endorsement, I don't know what is. Thanks for tuning in.